Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw assembly of knuckle joint using the Solid Edge software. For more videos on Solid Edge, subscribe to my channel Learn and Draw. Knuckle joint is used to connect two rods and is expected to transmit axial forces or when reciprocating portion motion is used to convert into rotary motion or vice versa. The different parts of the knuckle joint are fork, eye, pin, collar and taper pin. So now let's draw knuckle joint. Let's read the question. Create 3D assembly models of knuckle joint for the given detailed parts and show the assembly in the following two dimensional views. Front view in section, top view and left view. The knuckle joint is made up of five parts, fork, eye, pin, collar and taper pin. So this is the fork in the front view and the top view. This is part number 2, eye in the front view and the top view. This is part number 3, pin in the front view and in the top view. This is part number 4, collar in the front view and the top view. And lastly, this is the part number 5, taper pin in the front view and the side. We have to model all the parts using the solid edge software and then we have to assemble all those parts that we have modeled and the third step is we have to convert the assembled knuckle joint assembly into the two dimensional drawing. So let's start the drawing. Knuckle joint assembly using the solid edge software. Okay. So we will do the knuckle joint assembly in three steps first one is creating the model of all the parts second one is assembling those parts and the third one on the last one is converting it into two dimensional drawing okay so first one is we have to create the models as we know the knuckle joint has five parts fork eye pin collar and taper pin so let's do the part number one that is fork so this is fork in the front view and the top view okay so to do that we will select the solid part here so we, we get the screen like this next we will divide this drawing into two parts drawing the right side of the axis line and then the left side of the axis line so first draw the right side of the axis line so here you can see in the right side of the axis line length 125 okay so then width is 30 then there is an arc okay of radius 15 and another arc of radius 30 okay so they are at a distance of 30 mm from this axis line and which has the height of 30 mm so to do this first what we'll do is we'll draw the rectangle up to the distance of 30 okay so then we'll draw an arc of radius 15 and then a arc of radius 30 so to do that we will select here protrusion option then front plane okay so here we will draw a rectangle of height 30 and width uh, 30 and height 30 okay so 30 30 so then we will place it here so next we will select here smart dimension option and then dimension this next we'll select here the connect option and then connect the center of this with this line right so next we'll draw the arc so here we'll select the tangent arc then connect this line with this one okay so then see this one so it has the dimension of radius 15 okay so next we have to draw radius 30 arc so for that once again we'll select the line here so from this point we'll draw a line of height 15 mm okay 
so then again length is 30 next connect it up to here next again here's draw a line of length 15 next here length 30 then connect it up to here okay so next we'll select the tangent arc then connect this line with this line okay so then we'll select again the smart dimension of and check it is 30 or not see it is radius 30 exactly so now next one is we have to draw this end point which has the distance of 125 mm from the axis line okay so for that we'll select here offset option okay so next in the chain we'll select the single and here type 125 okay then select this line press green mark so it is asking this direction or this direction give this direction okay so then select fit see the line is created so next uh, what we have to do is we have to select here a line next join this line with this line next again select this line and join this line with this line okay so next part is we'll remove the unwanted lines using the trim option so here we'll select the trim option then remove this line next remove this line then remove this line remove this line and then lastly remove this line this line and this line okay so this much part will be completed next here we'll select okay so next here we'll select fit option so here we'll select here symmetric extent so now it is asking how much distance it is given in the top view as 30 so here we'll type 30 and press enter okay then press finish now this much part is completed so next there is a arc here of radius 24 so we'll select here round so we'll select this line next bottom line give this distance as 24 and press ok preview finish control i okay so this much portion is completed next let's draw the left side of our drawing okay so as you can see the left side of the drawing we'll get it from the top view so it has two circles one of 50 mm diameter the inside there is a hole of 25 mm diameter okay so let's draw this one so to draw this select protrusion so next select this one next draw a circle center at this point diameter give it as 50 return okay so next what is the length given from the top view 17.5 17.5 press enter give the downward direction finish so next is select the cutout and then select this line next here we'll draw again a circle so which has the diameter of 25 so here we'll draw a diameter of 25 then press return so then give here as through next give the downward direction then press finish so the same thing we need to draw on the upper side also so for that instead of drawing again we'll use the mirror option so here we'll select mirror copy feature so which one select the cutout then select protrusion okay so here we have to select copy feature smart okay then select green mark so then it is asking the plane so give this plane finish okay so the top part will be completed next there is a radius of 24 so give the round select the round option so here select this one one two three and four give the radius as 24 press enter preview finish control i next uh, here we have to do the round 
okay so that is not given so here all unmentioned fillets are round radii 3 so uh, for this reason so what we have to do is so we will again select the round option select this one and then the bottom line give radius 3 right mark preview finish control i okay so next part is we have to draw octagon inscribed in square of 30 so here we have to draw an octagon in the square of 30 so for that one what we have to do is here we will select the cutout option then select this plane okay so there is some formula to draw octagon okay so here we can see here on the right side there is a formula to draw the octagon okay so in a square the formula to draw the octagon is given as a plus root a is equal to l where a is the side and l is the length of the square okay so by solving this we will get the answer as a is equal to 12.43 mm that is side of an octagon inscribed in the square will get this answer as 12.43 mm okay so we will now draw a line here of length equal to 12.43 mm next use the smart dimension okay so next use here connect option connect this to the center we'll again select the line option so from here we'll draw a line 12.43 press enter and join this up to this point so again 12.43 join it here again using this line we'll connect it here next again connect this here next again using the line connect it here next using this line connect it here next join to this line okay so now the octagon here is created next here press return so then we have to go to cut out side step one step before so we'll select this one then it is asking outside or inside so we have to select here outside option okay since we need octagon outside next the distance distance given here it is as 37.5 so we will select here 37.5 distance okay then press finish so the octagon now it is uh, completed so next one uh, part we have to uh, draw is to round these sides so for that we will select here round option and then select this line next select uh, uh, the second line third line and then fourth line right click preview finish okay then control i next last part uh, left for us in the fork is to draw the shaft that is given here at the end the shaft has the uh, diameter of 25 mm okay so for that what we have to do is so we'll select here protrusion option then select this line then draw a circle at the center diameter 25 press enter next go to return so then it is asking the distance the distance for the shaft is not mentioned so we will take it approximately as 30 mm then select this direction press finish okay so now the last part left for us is to trim these uh, hexagon okay so to do that so we'll select here reward cutout option then select the front plane here select fit option 
नेक्स्ट सिलेक्ट ए लाइन देन ड्रॉ अ लाइन हियर ओके देन सिलेक्ट हियर एंगल बिटवीन एंगल बिटवीन दिस लाइन एंड द बॉटम लाइन इट इट विल बी गिवन एज थर्टी डिग्री प्रेस एंटर ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज सिलेक्ट द एक्सेस ऑफ रेवल्यूशन सिलेक्ट इट एट द सेंटर देन प्रेस रिटर्न सो देन इट इज आस्किंग आउटसाइड और इन साइड सो विल सिलेक्ट दिस आउटसाइड ऑप्शन सो एंगल इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी डिग्री सो प्रेस थ्री सिक्सटी then press finish okay so now the chamfer at the edges will be created so this completes the part number 1 that is fork so go to tools material table so here in the material table select the fe 410 okay so we'll type this as fe 410 w okay add to library apply to the model okay control i then save this file okay so here we have to create the folder of uh, knuckle joint so in the folder of knuckle joint save this part as fork save now the first part of our drawing that is knuckle joint fork is completed after fork part number 2 that we have to do is i so you can see on the uh, right side of our figure so this is the i in the front view and the bottom is the i in the top view okay so there are two axes x axis and the y axis so we will first draw the part which is on the right left side of the y axis and then we will draw the figure on the right side of the y axis okay first we will select here new solid part okay so next so we will draw this according to the front view okay so first we'll draw this length 100 and height is equal to 30 and width is equal to 30 so let's first draw this one take the projection select the front view next draw the rectangle width 100 height 30 enter okay so next uh you will take the smart dimension and dimension this part next here we'll select the connect option and connect the center of this one with this one okay so then select fit next uh, go to return so we know that the uh, thickness here it is 30 okay so here we'll select symmetric extent distance 30 press enter okay so we'll get this part next uh, is we'll draw the right side of the axis line here okay so we can get this from the top view there are two circles one is of 50 mm diameter the other circle is a hole of 25 mm diameter so let's draw this one so here uh, we'll select again protrusion then we'll select this top plane so here we have to draw the circles first we'll draw the uh, 50 mm circle select circle by center diameter 50 press center then place it here next press return next here we have to select symmetric extent so what will be the distance given in the top view it is 30 so we'll press 30 and press enter so here we'll press finish so next is we have to create a hole of 25 mm diameter so for that we'll select here cut out this plane circle okay so diameter is 25 press enter so place it at the center return so here we'll select through next uh, the arrow should be downwards 
finish okay so now this much part is completed so next one we will draw this radius of 24 so for that here we will select the round we will select this one and this line give radius 24 press enter preview finish control i okay so next uh, next what we have to do next is uh, we have to draw this octagon so similarly what we have did it in the fork okay so that is nothing but here you can see here we have to inscribe the octagon inside the square okay so formula for this is a plus root 2a is equal to l so solving this formula so we will get the distance a side a as 12.43 mm okay so i will give this uh, formula in the description for your reference so next uh, we will draw the octagon so for that here we will select the cutout next select this one so here we have to create the octagon so as we know the distance is 12.43 so we will select line type 12.43 press enter okay so next select the smart dimension drag this next select connect connect it to the center line like this okay so next again select the line so from this line so we will take the distance 12.43 mm press enter next again take the distance 12.43 mm press enter next uh, using this reference line so we will connect to this line next again using this reference line connect to this line next use this reference line and connect it to here next use this reference line and then connect it to here then connect it to the last one so now our octagon is created inside the square so next we will press the return option so in the return option we have to go to one step before that is cut out side step so click on this so now it is asking the direction inside or outside so give outside okay so next what will be the distance so distance given in the figure as 37.5 so type 37.5 and press enter okay so then press finish so our octagon will be completed next we have to chamfer the side of the octagon okay so to chamfer the sides of the octagon so here we have to select reward cutout and then select this front plane okay so then press front fit so next select the line so next draw a randomly line like this next here go to angle between this line and this line so it should be equal to 30 degrees so next select this axis of revolution select this line then press return so now it is asking the direction give this direction okay so take the angle as 360 degree and press enter next press finish so now the chamfer will be created now the last part uh, left here is to draw the shaft of 25 mm diameter okay so for this we will select here protrusion next select this one next select a circle by center so give the diameter as 25 press enter and place it here at the center next go to return so now it is asking the distance so we can view any distance so here i will give the distance as 30 and press enter finish so now this is completed control i so we'll get go, come to the original position so now we have to uh, round this part okay the octagonal part that is been shown so for that we'll select the round option next we'll select this line this line this line and this line so here press 
write mark let the radius be 5 preview finish now the round is created control i so now the part number 2 that is i is completed so go to tools material table so here we have already updated this fe 410 apply to the model control i save okay so here uh, instead of part number 2 we will give it as i then save now the part number 2 is completed next we will go to part number 3 part number 3 is pin okay so here you can see so these are the dimensions of the pin in the front view and the bottom is the pin in the top view so the pin has two diameters one of 38 mm and height 10 mm second one is of uh, 25 mm diameter and the height of 82 mm and there is a taper hole of 5 mm okay which has the taper of 1 is to 50 which is at a distance of 11.5 from the top end so let's uh, draw this one for this go to new solid part okay so next we'll first create the uh, bottom part here so we'll go to protrusion then we'll go to the top plane next here we'll select circle by center give the diameter as 38 press enter next press return so what will be the height height is given as 10 press enter okay finish next again go to protrusion select this line next go to circle by center give now the diameter 25 press enter place it at the center return height height given as 82 type 82 and press enter now this much portion is completed next we have to create this uh, taper hole okay finish so to create the uh, taper hole so what we will do is uh, we will go to this hole option okay so then in in, in the uh, top in the coincide plane so we will go to parallel plane okay so next we will uh, select this right plane and then parallel to this one select this face okay so then select fit option next here we will go to whole circle options click on this one so we will get the box like this so next in this menu type of the hole it is taper so instead of simple so we will select it as taper okay so next uh, we we are uh, drawing this hole okay that is 5 mm hole which is the uh, largest part of the tapered hole okay so for that we will select this one next here we will type 5 mm so next what it is asking ratio ratio it is given as 1 is to 50 so here we will type 1 so here we will type 50 okay so next what is the depth of the hole depth of the hole is the diameter of this uh, whole circle that is the diameter of the circle is 25 so here we will give it as 25 okay so then uh, we'll press okay so we'll place the hole here at the center okay so next so distance it is given as 11.5 so for that we'll go to uh, distance between so this one the center of this it is 11.5 press enter okay so then we'll press here return so next the direction give this direction finish now the hole is created okay so next we'll update the properties go to tool material table so here FE410W apply to the model then uh, so we will name this one as pin click on save 
now the part number 3 is completed so next is we have to draw part number 4 that is collar so this is the collar okay so collar has the hole of 25 mm and it has the outside diameter of 38 mm and at the center there is a taper hole of 1 is to 50 and the highest diameter is 6 mm okay so let's uh, draw this one so for that we have to go to a new solid part okay so again we, have, we will select this protrusion and then now we will select this top plane okay so here we will select circle so first circle is 38 mm diameter press ok so next again circle so here diameter is 25 press enter place it at the center of this one then we will go to return next what is the height height will get it from the uh, front view that is 10 mm so we will type 10 mm okay so then press finish now this much portion is completed so last part here is we have to create a hole inside this uh, collar okay so we have to uh, do the same method that we have used it for the uh, pin okay so that is uh, we have to select here hole option next inside the coincide plane we'll select the parallel plane so next we'll select this right plane and then parallel to this one so we'll select this line next here we'll select hole options so next instead of simple we'll uh, select tapered hole okay so next so we we, uh, we have this greater part of the tapered it is 6 so we will select this point and here we will select 6 mm okay so next the ratio it is asking the ratio so the ratio is 1 is to 50 so we will select here 1 we will select here 50 next what is the hole depth so hole depth is the outside diameter of the collar that is 38 so here we will select 38 and then press ok ok so next we will uh, draw this here at the center right then we'll, uh, this particular hole is exactly at the center of this collar the height of the collar is 10 center of this will be 5 so we will go to distance between so this line and the center of this it is give this as 5 and press enter okay so then so next uh, go to return okay so give this direction finish now the hole is created okay so this much part is completed next update the properties go to tools material table so here we will select fe 410w apply to the model control i save ok so this is color save ok so this is completed now the last part uh, left with us is to do the taper pin ok so for taper pin uh, what we will do is taper pin has the length of 44 and it has the uh, diameter of 6.5 and it has the taper of 1 is to 50 okay so let's uh, draw this one first we'll go to new solid part okay so to solve this particular uh, taper pin so what we will do is we will divide this into half and then use the reward protrusion option and complete this one so for that here we will select the reward protrusion option front plane next here we will select a line of 44 mm diameter okay so next take the smart dimension next here we will connect the connect option connect this one with this line okay so next 
uh, here we'll select the line so we are doing half of this 6.5 divided by 2 it is 3.25 so now the height from this point is 3.25 mm okay so next so we'll try to zoom this here select zoom area and drag this so next we have to draw the other side other side it is taper 1 is to 50 so for that we will again select the line option so what will be the height of this height of this will be 3.25 minus of bracket 44 divided by 50 bracket close enter so we will get this point next connect this to the other point okay so next uh, smart dimension okay so next go to return so next here we will select the axis of revolution so this is the axis of revolution then press return so now what will be the angle angle is 360 type 360 and press enter finish okay so now the taper pin is completed so let's update the properties go to tool material table so here we'll select fe 410w apply to the model control i save okay so this is paper pin now this completes the first part of our drawing is creating the model of all the parts so after completing the modeling of all the parts second step is to do the assembly of knuckle joint so to do the assembly of uh, the knuckle joint so we have to go here new assembly okay so in the uh, assembly so we'll select here all the parts and drag this to complete the assembly okay so we'll do it step by step first we'll select here part number one that is fork and drag it here like this the part will come so next is part number two that is i so we'll select the i drag it here now we have to align the i with respect to the fork okay so that we can create the assembly so first i will align this bottom part to the bottom of this fork next i will align cutout of this to the cutout of the fork okay so now the whole part is assembled correctly next is uh, part number three that is pin so i will select the pin here drag it like this okay so first i will align this part with the cutout here okay so next is i will align this bottom of this part to the part here like this okay so now the part number three that is pin is allied with fork and the eye so next is part number four that is collar so for your clear viewing i'll select control i so part number four is collar i will select the collar and drag it over like this now we have to align the collar with the assembled part so for this i will place the cursor here right click on this so i will get this uh, face protrusion select this one and align with this one okay so next is we have to align the uh, taper hole of the collar with that of the taper hole of the pin so for this i will select here okay so next i will align this with respect to the uh, taper pin of this one okay so now it is aligned correctly next the last part to align in the assembly is the taper pin so here i will select the taper pin drag it here like this okay so next i will select this face in the taper so next align with this one okay 
so next i have to align the taper pin with respect to the hole inside the pin okay so for that i will select this pin here like this next i have to align uh, pin here according to this axis okay so this much portion is over now the pin is half inside the hole okay so we have to move this pin to the other direction we can do it with two methods first we can first method is we can select here move part select this one and then manually we can move this so second method is uh, to do it accurately that is we have to go to the assembly pathfinder here okay so next we can select this taper pin okay so next we have to move the xz axis okay so we'll select this xz axis now it is showing 0.00 mm so how much portion we have to move we have to type it here that much portion the taper pin will be moved now the total length of the taper pin is 44 mm okay so that is 22 on the right side of the axis line and 22 from the left side of the axis line now it is zero at the right side so what we have to do is we have to move this part 22 mm on the right side of the axis line so for that i will type minus 22 and press enter now the taper pin is aligned correctly okay now this completes the step two that is creating the assembly of the knuckle joint okay so now next step is the last step that is creating the two dimensional drawing of this knuckle joint okay so to do this what we have to do is go to file okay first let's save this file save okay so here i will select knuckle joint assembly and then save it here okay so next i have to go to file create drawing normal dot dft okay so a wizard comes like this next go to next front next so front view top view isometric view side view finish okay so then we'll place it here like this next we are taking the printout in the a4 sheet so we have to change this sheet to a4 so for that here at the bottom there is a sheet so right click on this so we'll get the sheet setup so here in the sheet setup we have to change the a2 sheet to a4 sheet unclick the show background and click on ok now we have to arrange all these parts so i will arrange now so after arranging i will select here fit so in the problem so we need the sectional front view of the knuckle joint so we will select this front view and press on delete okay so now we have to create the sectional front view using the top or the side views okay so for this uh, we will select here uh, cutting plane okay so then select this particular uh, top view so next here in the line option so let's draw this at the center okay so next press finish option here so give the downward direct upward direction okay so next we have to create the sectional view for that here we have to select the sectional view select this one drag this to the top now this is the sectional front view of our knuckle joint okay so now let's uh, name this file go to text here so name this as uh, front view so the bottom is uh, top view and this is the side view and the isometric view of knuckle joint so here uh, let's create the dimensions so for the dimensions i will use the smart dimensions and distance between tool so after naming all the dimensions what we can do is we can uh, name the parts list okay so to uh, name all the parts so we here we can select the part list option so then okay so in the parts list uh, we'll select this uh, particular file so next here in the parts list we can change the properties okay so here there is 
iso next there is columns so different columns which may be present so next let's click on this ok button then press finish so now the uh, parts list is completed we will try to drag this to the top here like this okay so we we have all the parts and all the uh, parts are labeled here so the balloons which are used to label these uh, different parts has two bar one three bar one so it, we don't want this item count okay so to change all these things so what we can do is select uh, these lines and here we'll select here item count okay so now the balloon shows one two three four five all the five parts and the naming of all the parts in the parts list now this completes the two dimensional drawing of the knuckle joint using the solid edge software so so far in this video we have discussed about the model of different parts of the knuckle joint next second step was the assembly of all the parts and the third step is converting the 3d assembled knuckle joint into the two dimensional drawings and inserting the parts list this completes the problem thank you for watching the video for more videos on solid edge subscribe to my channel learn and draw